Our next comedian up is uh, up on the stage doing comedy for the very first time. Woo! Never been on a stage before uh, trying to purposefully be funny. Uh, so be gentle, uh, caress him, and you know, tell him he did a good job even when he doesn't. Everybody, please welcome Anthony Silva. Yeah, it's me, guys. I see everyone else do this. I'm just going to assume that's what I'm supposed to do, too. Uh, I'm, so I'm really nervous about this, because my whole life I've tried to be funny, but I've never tried to be funny on purpose. So I wrote, like, a shit ton of notes. Like, I, I emailed Flo, I'm like, hey, man, how do you do this for real? And he sent me some very, like, good literature and whatnot. Um, but he didn't tell me how to write a joke. So, okay. Uh, so I made it in an outline, and I'm like, well, what's five minutes? So I filled this book up, uh, and we'll just see how it goes. So I need, can you hold that for me? There we go. Okay. All right, guys. No, I'm just kidding, man. That's, that'd be jacked up. That'd be messed up. So, guys, if you can't tell uh, from these sweet-ass socks, I'm a big nerd, and I love it. It's the best, it's the best um, thing that I do, uh, because I don't do much else. Uh, and right now is the best time to be a nerd. We've got more like 20 movies every, every year. We make all the money. It's a good time. We've got access to so much new things. It's incredible. Uh, but despite the fact that all the stuff we like is the coolest stuff in the world, to actually be a nerd, to be a geek, still not cool. I can walk down the street wearing like a Captain America or like a, like a Batman shirt, and some other guy be like, yeah, that's cool, uh, Dark Knight. But as soon as I start wearing two things, that's it. You immediately cross some imaginary line where you can push back into lockers and wedgies and stuff. And it's, it's a very mysterious fine line between liking nerd stuff and being a nerd. So it's still, it's still not the same. You know, if, if I, like I got a collection of belt buckles. I don't know what it happened, but it became my thing. I've got like a bunch of different belt buckles that I coordinate with whatever shirt I'm wearing per genre when possible. <laughs> but as soon as somebody notices, they're like, you get that look. And you know, some people will ask, well, what's this shirt? You know, like I got a blue beetle or God forbid, like a lion cat shirt. And I start seeing glazed over faces. Uh, when I start to explain, well, it's like this weird, crazy space opera, and this cat uh, can understands English and uh, will tell people when he's lying, uh, and there's aliens and all kinds of crazy stuff, and they just blank out. So I know to cut it short. Um, but I forgot where that joke was going. Fuck me. <laughs> no, I remember now. You guys. <laughs> stop. Don't stop. So I'll do that. But if I was to wear, like, a Philip Rivers jersey, and, like, go bolts across my ass, I paint my face up blue, they'd carry me out on their shoulders like some kind of lightning god. <laughs> they'd be like, this guy, this guy, he gets it. But what's the difference? If I'm cruising, uh, you know, uh, Comic-Con, like I'm Wolverine, like Rolo feels I always should. <laughs> Side story about Rolo, because he's going to love this. Uh, for two years, uh, after initially meeting Rolo, who, again, he's the reason why we're all here. So Rolo <laughs> is a good, good human being. Uh, he thought that Wolverine was my favorite character because, because this, this is what I look like. <laughs> I know, it's fine. Uh, so he'd be like, hey, Wolverine, he texts me. He's like, hey, Wolverine, what's going on? Hey, Wolverine, you coming out tonight? And you're like, oh, yeah. Wolverine's not my favorite character. <laughs> He's fine. I have nothing against him. So one time we're at a bar, and I finally break his little heart. And I'm like, you've been calling me for two years. You've been calling me Wolverine. I'm pretty sure I'm in his phone as Wolverine. <laughs> and it's not really my favorite character. Like, I'm a, I'm a Gambit fan. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Gambit ain't been good for 20 years, but neither have I. <laughs> so we have similarities, and he just blew his tiny mind of like, what? You've been letting me do this. I'm like, yeah, because 
you're my friend, and I like you a bunch. <laughs> so it's, it's not so easy, you know, being a geek, because on the, on the same angle, if I try and step out of my circle and start dating, like, muggle women, <laughs> it's, it's very sensitive. It, it's, it's very difficult to kind of tiptoe a minefield that you're already doing on a, on a first date. But then you got to hide some of this. You got to rein some of it back. Because, you know, like, I'll tell, you know, if, especially if I'm asked, I'm not going to lie. You're going to find out when you come into my bedroom when I've got posters on the wall, i got action figures, I've got all kinds of collectibles. You're going to find out. But the deep, the Star Wars sheets give it away. It's the little things. It's the little things. you got to wait. Like, I play D&D, &D and I don't, I'm not even ashamed of it. I get excited every week. I'm like, Yes. I'm going to kill some imaginary things with my, with my buddies. I'm going to curse. Fuck it, there ain't no kids here. <laughs> I get excited about it. I'm like, yes, all right. But that's like a third date kind of ish situation. You can't just drop that on some poor girl who isn't ready for all that nerdity. You got to take it easy. It's not the same problem, though. Like some douchebag, some bro will come out of his truck and just, so. And then all of our, you know, nerd girls and all of our nerd guys are just flock to them because they got money and jobs and things. <laughs> so it ain't easy being me. Uh, turns out, just for everyone's information, turns out this is five minutes. Uh, so this probably would have been maybe another five minutes. <laughs> and this would have been another five minutes. As I'm way over prepared. Thank you very much. You guys are excellent. I love your faces. <laughs>